Yo, welcome back. I'm Adelante, and I'm here to show you how to use Instagram Reels if you're a rapper or a music producer. Let's go. Adelante, make the beat drop. Now, first and foremost, what I want to let you know is that these are tips and tricks that I've personally used to grow my Instagram using Reels from around 3,000 followers to now 15.3 thousand followers. Um, so this is not something that I've not tried myself. I've used it with other artists that I'm helping out as well. Um, and I always recommend this to people who reach out to me, whether it's in comments or in messages, like use Reels. The reason you wanna use Reels, it's because it's Instagram's new feature. And we all know that when they roll something new out, they're going to push it like crazy. So if you're posting like regular posts, and you're not seeing a lot of engagement, this is the trick that's gonna help you get that engagement and get that organic reach um, that normal posts and, and IGTV may not be getting for you. So I'm gonna show you what tips worked well for me and these other artists that I've been helping out. Then I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step on how to post a reel and what my process is when I'm posting reels. So first and foremost, what you wanna do is you wanna be consistent. Consistency is always key and I always preach this like crazy. So please listen to me, post consistently. This is something that I cannot stress enough. So for reels, you wanna be posting reels about four to five times a week. Yes, four to five times a week, not a post, not an IGTV. Um, stories, you always wanna be posting stories, but specifically reels. You wanna post reels four to five times a week. Now, the next thing that worked for me was that I actually went to TikTok and I looked at what was trending on TikTok and what was working well on TikTok. And what I noticed was that TikTok, a lot of people were doing those kind of like countdown or tips. For me, I got sucked in. This has nothing to do with music, but I got sucked into like these cooking TikToks where it would show you like how to do this, this, and this in one minute. Like I learned how to make banana bread in like a minute. I learned how to make you know, a bunch of different foods because I'm stuck at home. I got nothing else to do. So I'm cooking for myself, my family, my wife. Like, and so I'm like, okay, like let's do something fun. So I got sucked into these cooking TikToks. But then I started thinking about it. I was like, well, how can I turn this into something for musicians? And so I didn't jump into TikTok then, but I was starting to grow on Instagram and I wanted to use Reels as a feature. So I took that and I added it to Reels, or I kind of, you know, transitioned it over to Reels. And so what I started doing is I started using a lot of the carousels that I posted, with, which had useful information on how to market yourself or how to grow on social media, and I turned them into Reels. And so I would literally just go into my posts, and I would take information from that, and then I would create a 15 second, and now 30 seconds, because IG is allowing 30 seconds, um, Reels post. And I did that on a consistent basis, and then it started showing a little bit of traction. Now, again, when I went back to TikTok, obviously TikTok is known for being very creative in terms of comedy, right? Like people are using sounds, people are posting things that are funny, that's usually, usually getting a lot of engagement. So I wanted to do that as well, and because I knew it was gonna create more engagement on my page, which is what I wanted. And so I went in there and again, I started thinking, okay, well, I had this carousel that I posted where it's like things producers never say, right? And it just had a bunch of funny little captions that I had put together like, oh no, I've never used a crack VST before, you know, like things like that, like just comical stuff. And so I started thinking again, well, what can I use for reels? And I just, naturally went to all the all like the funny things that happened for me personally like me personally I'm a dad of three kids I've got three kids under the age of five my life at home is amazing right I have my wife I have my three kids however it can get hectic and usually when I'm recording these videos it's late at night the kids are already asleep and that's usually when I get my music time and so when I post on Instagram, obviously I'm putting together like these very polished beat making videos. Um, you know, I'm doing like the whole performance with the, with the audio like cleanly underneath it. But in reality, I'm usually cooking up in my bed, right? Or <laughs> I, I usually like to cook up in the bathroom, right? Uh, don't kill me, right? But hey, 
you get some ideas flowing. <laughs> and so, um, and so I thought it would be funny to like kind of highlight that, right? So what I did is that I started posting these videos where it was like what producers post on Instagram versus what producers are or where producers are actually making their beats. And so for me personally, I would show a shot of myself like back here, like putting together, like performing a beat, right? Like hella into it and then cut like halfway through it and show myself like asleep on my bed, like hearing the, the loop that I've created over and over and over again while I'm like deep in my dream. Um, and usually my wife was super cool about it. She helped out because usually she'd add some like funny thing at the end, like, yo, are you even working or what, you know? Anyway, so that actually started to do very well on my page. And of course, people thought it was funny. People started sharing it. And that is another key thing is you got to create shareable content like uh, beat making videos are cool. Like people, again, have blown their pages up using beat making videos because they're super great finger drummers. They're super um, like musically talented where they can play a bunch of different genres, a bunch of different instruments. Um, and so unfortunately, like I can, uh, you know, get around on the keys here and there, but you see right there, I'm trying to learn guitar. I'm trying to get better every day. And so I use this to my advantage and it's just my raw, real life, right? And so it's funny, it's funny to other producers. It's funny to other producers who are parents. And, and so yeah, create shareable content. That's super, super key. Now these next tips are kind of like bunched together in terms of just the formatting of it. You wanna make sure you're recording vertically, which is means you're holding your phone like this, you know, up and down. Um, because on Reels, it's like TikTok, it's using the, it's using the whole vertical screen. Um, and so you wanna make sure you're recording vertically because if you record horizontally, it, it just looks weird. You got that, you know, black area um, on the top and the bottom. It's not as big, it's not taking up the whole screen. And so you wanna use up all that screen real estate. So make sure you're shooting vertically. Um, the next thing you want to do in terms of just being able to post consistently, this helps that out, is record multiple videos at once. They're 15 second videos, sometimes 30 seconds if you want them. They don't take very long. Even if you did a start and stop, start and stop for 15 seconds, maybe it might take you like a minute, a minute and a half. So you can knock five of these out within a 10 minute time period, right? And then you can just save them to post later. And that's usually great just in general so that you're not scrambling to post things at the last minute. Next, you wanna make sure you're still using your correct hashtags, right? I've created my hashtag sets. I use certain hashtags for reels. I use certain hashtags for my carousel posts. They all vary. So make sure you're using the hashtags for your reels that have to do with what you're posting. Usually you can use, like if you're in the music world, there's not an insane amount of hashtags that you can vary up, right? You're gonna end up using things that um, might do with a certain genre of hip hop or whatever. But regardless, people are gonna click on it and if it's funny, if it's interesting, if it's educational, they're going to share it, they're going to engage with it. So make sure you're still using hashtags on your reels. All right, so now I'm gonna show you my step-by-step -step process on what I do when I post reels onto Instagram. Let's go. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how to do this. Um, as you can see here, I'm not following one of my own tips, which is to post stories all the time. So my bad, <laughs> but I do try and do it as much as I can. Um, anyways, you wanna jump over here to the middle, the reels icon. Now you're gonna see here, this guy right here, side beat music. This guy's been posting reels constantly and I personally don't know him, but he always pops up on my timeline. This guy is using it to his advantage. So make sure you do it. People are already using it. Um, so now I'm gonna jump over here to the little camera icon and you can see it pop up. I'm gonna leave it at 15 seconds just cause I'm gonna do something real quick. I'm literally just gonna say right here. These are three ways to get your music onto Spotify. Okay. Step one, upload through DistroKid. Step two, market yourself on social media. Step three, submit to playlists. That's it. That's all I'm gonna do. Now, 
I know I just kind of did that on the fly, so it's not perfect. However, you can see how easy it can really be. Next, you're gonna tap this little arrow icon. These are three it's gonna to show you right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add text. So I'm gonna just put three ways to get your music on Spotify. Now I know my content, one of my tips actually doesn't really make sense with the title, but I'm not gonna actually post this one. Um, so then you see here, I tapped on the, um, the little title. And what's cool about it is that you can slide it over and it gives you a haptic, like kind of a vibrate touch when or feedback when you reach the end of one clip. So that way you know you step need to one. add a different one. So I'm gonna just put it right here because I step one. And you're gonna wanna make sure you add different colors and stuff. So boom right here, make that larger. And then I'm gonna step. slide over here to step one, move this cursor here, and then move that cursor over here. Step, step two. Right here, let's make this one purple. Two, Boom, mark it same yourself. thing. Drag it over to the correct piece. And step three. And let's make this one like this pink color. Step, step three. three. Submit to Step and then that's it. So now you can tap this. You can tap the title again, These are three ways and it should like go away. Um, so the, let me hit Step done. One, upload through so you see, it's kind of grayed out Step in the back. Two, that means it won't show it at that point. Um, but then you're done Step there. Three, you can playlists. swipe through filters if you like. These are three ways to get right. Your music Let's say I'll, I like that one, the Buenos Aires one. one. Um, shout out to everybody in Argentina, Buenos Aires. I like that filter. Um, and then you can choose the cover, right? You can upload your own custom thumbnail. Um, that works really well. But if you're, if you're, you know, kind of just using it for your own time, um, trying to streamline things, you don't have to. Um, so I'm just gonna use that one right there, the part that I don't look totally <laughs> stupid. But uh, let's see, oh, I had something and then I moved it. Uh, let's just go. Uh, let's just go right there. Whatever. Done. You're going to write your caption. So for myself, I'm going to put three ways to get your music on Spotify. And then down here, I'm going to enter, you know, I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but just hashtag uh, music marketing, blah, 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 blah. And you're gonna enter your 30 hashtags in there, right? You hit okay. Now you wanna make sure that you have this right here. It's the share to feed button. You wanna make sure that's on because that's gonna share it to your actual Instagram feed, which is going to pop up in people's timeline. If you have that off, it's not going to push it onto their timelines. So you have to make sure to share to feed. And then you would share, right? I'm not gonna share this one, but you would hit share, it would go out, and you get a ton, a, like an insane amount more of engagement when using reels instead of just a regular post. So just to recap, if you're a musician, if you're a producer, a rapper, a singer, and you're just not getting that engagement from regular posts or IGTV or stories. You're like trying to figure out, you're bashing your head against the wall because you don't know how to market your music on Instagram. Trust me when I say to use Instagram Reels. The level of engagement is insane. And Instagram, this is their new feature, so they're going to be pushing it. It's a direct competitor to TikTok. The only downside that I see for Instagram Reels is that there's no duet feature yet. And I hope, I really, really hope that this is something that they roll out very soon um, because that's one thing that TikTok has that ha gives it a huge leg up in terms of collaboration. So regardless though, Instagram Reels is where you need to be focusing if you're just not getting that level of engagement on regular posts or Instagram TV or 
you know, any, any other feature that you're using on Instagram. If you want to start getting that engagement, that organic engagement from new people to hear your music, use Instagram Reels. And on my next video, I'm going to show you free ways to market your music. I'm Adelante. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe this video and go out, make dope music and get it heard. Peace.